Hi there, I'm Darcy with Darcy's Designs, and I'm here today to go over stencil materials. Um, if you have a digital die cut machine and have ever been interested in cutting stencils with your die cut machine, I have a whole brand new series of files designed just for that. So what I wanted to do was go out and get all the different stencil materials so that I could compare them and see what would be the best um, to cut on my machine and what would be the most cost effective. And I'm about to share with you the results. Um, the first thing, I'm going to go from most expensive to the least expensive. The first thing I bought was this blue stencil film from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $4.69. Uh, for $4.69, that comes out to $1.20 per sheet. Um, the sheets are 9 by 12. Um, and as you can I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can show you. Um, it's not real thick. It's a little bit flimsy. Um, and I wound up not even test cutting it because I found something I liked better for a lot less. Um, anyway, this is the graphics blue stencil film um, and is one of your options. Um, the next thing I bought was called um, Stencil Blank by Stencilies, also from Hobby Lobby. Now, these are huge. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Um, the size is 12 inches by 18 inches, so that would be nice if you wanted to do something very long. Um, in the case of my files, I didn't really need it to be that long. Um, and I got these for $4 for this package. There's two sheets in here. Um, and each sheet is 12 inches by 18 inches. So you could actually cut it in half and get two 5 by 9 inch sheets out of it. Um, so you could get four at that, but it still comes out to $2 a sheet or a dollar a sheet for the small uh, 5 by 9 size. Um, now, oh, the um, thickness of this is extremely thin. Um, it is n not thick at all. It's very thin. Um, any machine would have no problem cutting through that. Um, the third sample I bought was is by Plaid, and I got this from Super Walmart. Um, it's simply stencils. It's actually meant to be stenciled. Um, the sheets are 7 inches by 10 inches. Um, now, this is a lot thicker. Look at the difference. Um, I don't know if you can hear that or see that. Um, these come out, you get three of the sheets here, and they're 7 inches by 10 inches, so they're small. Um, and they come out to a dollar a sheet for these little small sheets. Um, I actually did some test cutting on here. I'm going to try to show you. Uh, with my click and cut machine, which I, I guess you can see it over there, um, I cut it at different pressures. I cut it at between 400 and 500 pressure. Um, and I sampled between one time cutting it and going over it twice and cutting it. This one here... I cut twice. I'm going to show you. You can actually get through it and and peel it away. And there you see the um, little test sample. Um, it seemed to do better when I raised it up to 500 and went twice. It pops right out. There's um, going over it twice at 500 pressure. Um, now here I actually did a design, and I haven't tried to get it out yet. So I'm going to do it here with you and see if see how this comes out. Uh, oh, not so bad. Can you see that? Side out. I usually use my little poker to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there you have your design. Um, better like that. There you go. Um, now what I would do too when you do this, if you're stenciling, keep your reverse cut. Keep keep this because you can also sponge it and get the reverse um, down using the, um, sponging or inking. Okay, so that's what I came up with for that. And it, this is nice if you want to pave a little bit extra and get the thicker, um, more solid stencils. But me, I'd rather get more for my money. So let me keep going, and I'll show you what else we did. Um, I also, along the same thickness, I decided to try these frosted binding covers. Now I got these from um, Office Max and they were $17.29 for the pack of 25 of them. Um, that brings it down to about 70 cents per sheet. Um, and here they're they're nice and thick. They're I would say probably 
maybe even a little thicker than the stencil material that is a lot more expensive. So if you're going to actually want to do that, you might want to just go to Office Max and get yourself some of these. Um, these are Impact Professional Frosted Binding Covers. 25 in a pack. The size is 8 and 3 quarter inches by 11 and a quarter inches. Um, and they're actually really nice. They're kind of frosted on one side and smooth on the other. Um, now, how did they cut? Here, I did a little test sample. These were a little harder to cut. You might even have to go through these three, three times if you want a really good cut. Um, here, this last one seemed to do better. I made my blade a little bit longer. You have to make sure you get your blade the right length um, for whatever material you're cutting, cutting or it just won't work. Um, here, I did 500 pressure two times, and you can see it snaps right out, and we have a pretty decent stencil with a real decent, um, nice, thick um, material. Um, so anyway, that is the impact binding covers.